Hello again and welcome to another basic tech drawing tutorial. Today we're going to draw an isometric, oh no, sorry, an oblique cube using uh, rulers and a protractor. Now previously we've done oblique drawing using grid paper, which is very helpful to get our 45 degree angles, but today we're actually going to use just a, a normal ruler and a protractor. Now you can use any type of straight edge as your ruler. Today I'm using an isometric ruler, but um, it could just be a normal ruler that you use. But you'll also need, whoa, getting a bit carried away there. Uh, you'll also need a normal protractor like that. To start off with our cube, what we're going to do is we're going to <clears throat> measure six centimeters from the bottom. Uh, and we're going to just draw a, a line that's parallel with the bottom. You see how I'm just making these marks either side. There we go. So what you're going to do is you're going to use that line as the base of your cube. And now with um, oblique, we always use, we always start by drawing the front face. And this cube is going to have edges of six centimeters. So I'm going to mark there six centimeters or 60 millimeters there and there. Then I'm going to come along and draw a couple of parallel lines. And I'm just making sure that it, they are parallel. And the way I'm doing that is I'm just using my eye. As you move up in tech drawing, you'll get proper equipment that allows you to make it square, all your drawing to be square with the side of your page. So I'm going to go straight up like that. Like that. And then I'll join those two lines together. Like that. So that, that, that's the front face of my cube. The, the, the next step is to draw the depth lines. Now, as you know, oblique drawing, the depth lines are all at 45 degrees. Now, I have um, drawn um, these edges, the front face at six centimeters. So I'm going to do exactly the same with the three depth lines that come off those corners. So I'll start down the bottom here and I'll get my protractor and I'll line it up. And the angle is going to be 45 degrees. So I start here at zero and I go 10, 20, 30, 45. I just mark it. <clears throat> then I bring my ruler along and I put my pencil on the corner there, put the six centimeters up and make sure it's on a nice angle with the mark I've made. So the mark's actually just there. And then I make that six centimeters like that. <clears throat> my next step is to do the same thing off the other two corners. So I make sure I line up this line here with my vertical front line edge on the front face and I line this line up over here. Okay, and then I'm going to start again from here, 0, 10, 20, 30, 45. Mark it. <coughs> then come along. See how I'm using the ruler? I start by putting my pencil on one point and then line the ruler up bring it round like that <clears throat> and then same again ten twenty thirty forty five put my pencil on like that six centimeters or 60 millimeters go to the other end 
You might want to now just check with your ruler that all those lines are six centimeters. I'll do that. Yes. Oh, that could do with an extra millimeter. Yes, and then I'm going to just put my point there, bring my ruler around, and join that one up there. Do the same there. And there you have an oblique cube where my primary tool that I've used to get the angles right is a protractor. Good luck.